here for a Women in League event and uh, it's just a really important part of the um, NRL strategy around Women in League and it's encouraging volunteers um, and rewarding volunteers but also encouraging them to come together and step up and be really forward and strong and continue to do what they do and, and, and try and encourage them to take the next step maybe. Most of us are, are volunteers within the game. I think that um, truly we all are here for the one reason to have that passion for league and yes know that if maybe not ourselves can go further that we can assist somebody else in, in moving further up the ladder. It's a really good opportunity to show that women are involved in all levels of the game. So it starts at the grassroots level, we've got our fantastic Jillaroos and Kiwi fans, we've got our referees, we've got women involved in clubs, we've got Suzanne who's our COO and Raylene as CEO at the Bulldogs. So it's a good opportunity for everyone to meet each other and get to know that there are tremendous opportunities for women in rugby league. In our out, Harvey Norman, I went to um, one of the original women in league um, sessions that they had here in Auckland and it's been fantastic, still have my, my pink t-shirt and cap and everything like that, so yeah, thank you so much to everybody involved and obviously without the volunteers no one would be here and we wouldn't have those fantastic players on the field. There's absolutely opportunities for females to work in the NRL if that's what they want to do. Um, I know that's grown hugely. Across the game, I think it's about 30% of, of the staff are female. Um, so all sorts of opportunities, and if it's something that you really want to do, um, let's look at the job opportunities, see what there is, and, and really go for it. I think the NRL is the gender story when it comes to diversity in sport at the moment. We're making tremendous moves, so I'm hoping that one person at a time we're able to change that perception.